afternoon, welcome to another video. Still on holiday. I'm out today in an estuary, as you can see behind me. Quite a long way upstream, up, up uh, into the estuary. Um, and after some mullet, I can see some <laughs> in here, whether we can catch anything, any of them, who knows. But uh, there's plenty milling around in here. So I've got with me my barbed, barbel quiver rod. Set up on a float, or it will be in a second. They're very up in the water, I could do with a shorter float, but unfortunately all I've got is wagglers today. So I've got a Drake loaded waggler, but very little weight up the line. I think I could probably get this, get these fish taken off the top. We are right up in the water. However, seagulls everywhere, of course. So I think that's asking for trouble if we do that. So I'm just going to set this float very shallow and just run a bit of bread around there. Um, all over, very shallow on the inside here. Milling about everywhere, but like I say, I think fishing on top, I think we're, we're just going to get seagull to pieces. So, I'm going to set my float as shallow as I can, about a foot deep. We just run a bit of bread flake round. Just going to use bread. I've got some other bait and mackerel and bits and pieces, but I think bread is probably the best bet. I'm not going to put any loose feed in. I'm literally just going to put a bit of flake on the hook. See what we can do, they're notoriously hard to catch. Aren't they? So uh, <laughs> we'll see. They look very easy and they're just there and they look like they'll take a bait like that, but we'll see. Right, let's get a bit of bread on and see how we get on. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely going to game in front of me here. I think a good trick is going to be not sinking into this mud. Fortunately, that only wellies with me. Here we go. Well, they're not interested in the slope. In fact, I would say they're actively avoiding it. <laughs> I think they know what a bit of bread is in here. So, try a different spot.
Well, can you believe it? <laughs> well, guys, I've been putting bread in for 20 minutes or so here, running it down with the tide as the, as the river runs out, the tide goes down. I'm just changing float, setting, sorting it out, and uh, I look down, and <laughs> right by my feet there's a mullet about oh, probably a pound if that. Take chewing a piece of bread on the top. So I let him finish it, drop my, my bait in front of him and he took it. <laughs> well, he's only a little one. Got my first mullet. <laughs> Fantastic. Looks like feeding this bread has switched him onto it. Fab. Oh, I'm gonna carry on for a bit. I have seen a huge one up there. Just five pound <laughs> at least. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that was great. And uh, quite a surprise. <laughs> so, I'll take it. Three. Get that one piece on. I didn't think you'd have another one. Just chop this down a bit more. Else doing that. One other spot to try. I can see some fish. I have to go around the other side. That's no worries. Jump in the car, drive around there. I'll give it half an hour and then I'll have to be gone. So, let's go and have a go around there. So, there seems to be uh, all around this pontoon thing <coughs> when I was on the other side, but of course, now I've come over here. <laughs> Not so much, but we'll give it 10 15 minutes. Hang on. Certainly, a few fish about. Whether well, they'll be interested in a bit of bread flake there. <laughs> Who knows? I've got some ragworm in the car. I don't know if my little take ragworm, but might be worth a go. Just down to the right here. Just down there. Just wanted to take bread off the top. Really nice one's just gone past, but and it, it went to take a bit of bread off the top and it spooked off my flat. Annoying it, but there's, there's quite a lot around here. Taking bread down there. I'm really having it now.
Oui, finalement. How's about that? <laughs> Lovely job. Not huge, but wonderful stuff. And he's also got someone else's hook in, which I'm going to relieve him of. <laughs> Enjoyed that. I'm definitely going to try and uh, make time to come back here again. That was, uh, that was great fun. Great fun. But yeah, it's time to be gone. <laughs> Scrape all this uh, bread off my rod. <laughs> so, guys, I'm just near home where we sort of live very close to Marina. <clears throat> I hope you can see down there. It's a mullet. It's a nice little part as well. I've got to take some bread. So I'm going to go down there and try and catch one. Keep my voice down a little bit because I'm not what it's supposed to. A little bit of, bit of a clandestine operation, we'll go down there so we can sneak one out.
so there we are. How's about that? That's a proper one. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> well, that's been a very enjoyable couple of mullet sessions. I uh, did really, really fancied having to go for some mullets. Kind of number one on the list when I came down here and uh, to, of course, some fantastics. I know they can be very, very tricky fish to uh, to catch. So, yeah, really, really pleased with that. Absolutely fantastic. But for now, all there is left to do. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support. And I'll see you all again very soon.